Hey, y'all. Uh, it's been a long week. Today is the sixth day in a row that I've worked the primary job. Uh, luckily, today was only six hours rather than eight, but I did work two hours. I actually was there for about two and a half hours at the ga gallery. So, yeah, long day. And then it turns out it's a little warm in the living room. That's what this is all about. In fact, this is the hotter side. You can actually feel the heat, not just see it. This one's hot too, but not as hot. So I looked at the thermostat and it said 75. So I turned it off um, until tomorrow. Tomorrow we're supposed to get really cold temps again. So it's that time of year. Purdy hasn't been held all day. So she has been yelling at me to hold her. So she's finally getting her wish. <laughs> I'm tired, but I wanted to go ahead and record tonight because I didn't want to. I, I wanted to record while I was still halfway dressed. As you guys saw, you can kind of see I got the, the PJs on. <laughs> but um, just the bottom half, the top half is dressed. And um, so I thought rather than wearing my PJs tomorrow and have you guys see me in my PJs yet again, I would record this while I was dressed. And yeah, so that's where we're at. And it's the same excuse I gave dad. I was like, I'm, I'm running back out, back into town to get groceries because I don't want to put a bra back on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jojo? You going to say hi to everybody? You got to get over here where they can see you. Yeah. All they can see is your tail. All they can see is this. God, she's all meat compared to Purdy. Purdy is just all bones. Let me say I'm only eight, eight point something pounds. I forget what the litter box says. 8.4, 8.5 pounds. And Purdy's like 5.3, 5.4. She was 10 pounds at one point, weren't you? You're just skin and bones now. Buddy is in the cat tree bed there. And then you can see Fangs right there. <laughs> and that's everybody who's in the main part of the house. So we are starting season seven of game of thrones episode one i don't know the name of it yet uh, but we've got um ari coming back i think the area where winterfell and all that is called westeros um, but i'm not positive but basically she's headed back to that area i don't know if she knows who's alive and who's dead and all that. Um, I haven't quite figured out how the rumor mill works, although Varys has a very good <laughs> gossip network. Um, but, you know, for others who've been out of the loop, like Ari, I don't know how much they've heard. She did kill Frey, so I think she, well, no, she knew mom had been killed by him because she was there at the wedding as it was happening or after it happened immediately after it happened so i don't know if she knows what the status of john and sansa are i also don't know if she knows that bran and uh Ri Ri oh no ricker died was alive and then died uh speaking of john and sansa they seem to be co-leading I know Sansa said that John should be the one that leads Winterfell, but there at that last scene we had with them, it kind of looks like, like they were co-leading. I don't know what the exact organizational chart looks like. We'll put it that way. Sam and Gilly were at the Citadel. I think the last we saw is Sam going back into the library. But we don't know where Gilly's staying and all that. And I don't know how far we've leaped into the future or not. Tommen and Marjorie and 
a huge population of King's Landing is dead, thanks to Cersei. Well, I'll take that back. Marjorie was in the area that Cersei blew up. Tommen heard about what happened, probably figured out that Mama was behind it, and he jumped out the window. And so, yeah. So Jamie comes back to find all of this death and destruction and to find out that Cersei has deemed herself queen by her minions who made it so. And there wasn't one applaud. It was a very somber event uh, for more reasons than one, probably. So that's what's happening there. We've got Dorn, the, and I haven't learned her name, but the lady who killed her brother-in-law, who was the king there in Dorn, she's uh, she staged a coup and has taken over. And she was ganging up with who was she ganging up with? I can't remember. It oh, she's ganging up with because Baris showed up to see if she would join Danny and. Theon's sister, I forget her name. I learned it by the end of that last season, but I forget it now. And just to give you guys an idea, um, it has been, it is fish, officially over a month since I've seen the show. So, so I can't remember the sister's name anymore, but uh, Theon's sister and Danny have joined up with the sister-in-law of Dorn, and they're all headed west or all headed to Westeros I don't know if that's west or not but and we don't know what's going to happen with the hound and somewhere I was watching one of the reactors I can't remember if it's Mr. Elboyd or there's a couple of others that I've uh, been watching that just started but I don't know if I but I was watching one of their reactions and I uh, didn't realize that the hound and the mountain are siblings and you guys probably told me that and I knew the hound had a brother I just didn't connect it to it being the mountain uh, and you guys probably told me that and I just didn't retain that information so I've remembered that now, and we don't know where the hound has gone. All we know is he killed everybody who killed the church congregation that he had joined and had his killing clothes back on, I think, if I remember correctly. I uh, don't know where Brienne is. I don't, I, I, hmm. Danny made Tyrion her hand, so he is with her. I don't know who's ruling Marin and all the areas that she took back. The dragons are free, and she can ride the dragons now, and I don't know if she's necessarily commanding them, but she'll give them permission to do stuff. We'll phrase it that way. Jojo looks like one of those lions at the entrance of gates and stuff. And let's see. Don't know where Brienne is. Don't know. Uh, one of the things I've been wondering is, are we going to see Gendry again? Because the last we saw of him, he was running from Stannis. What's his name? Totally forgot his name. Right hand man to Stannis had broke him out of the cell and sent him on his way and we haven't heard anything more so waiting to hear from that uh, Bran knows that his aunt is the mother of John and I forget what I speculated at the end of that revelation but I think oh I can't uh, no. So I don't know what I guessed, but now I'm wondering, because we know that at one time 
the ant and the King Baratheon. Well, I guess the, the main King Baratheon. I forget his first name now. But they had dated at one time. So is he John's father? He does have the dark hair and dark eyes, right? I can't remember now. I think Kit Harrington naturally has blue eyes or bluish eyes. Are you saying hi to everybody? But now I can't picture his eyes. So I, I don't know. But... I'm wondering if that's the case, and so therefore, not only would Gendry be a possible heir, but so would John. I don't know which one is supposed to be older, though, if that's true. And I don't know if Bran is already on his way back to where his family is or where he's going to be. So we still got that as well. We have, I think, the wildlings are getting land in. Winterfell around the Winterfell area but I'm not positive on that but I think that was part of the deal for the ones that didn't die um, I think they will be getting some land so we'll still see them Jamie not much to say on him Bron, not much to say on him have I hit all the major players I think I have and if you heard that noise that was the fridge the, the compressor is bad on it so I need a new fridge. I need a new stove. <laughs> uh, I just spent a ton of money on um, masonry work, finishing up the chimney. But that is now all, all, all of the earthquake repair stuff is now all done. That was the last bit of it. I didn't record anything on that part. And then... Uh, my car uh, is at 101,000 miles, so it had its 100,000 mile overhaul. It wasn't just a tune-up. I forget what he called it, but um, it's a tune-up plus. <laughs> and so that happened, and then not only did he do all that work on that, but then it also had to have the oil change. Uh, rear brakes change, rear brake rotor, or rear, rear rotors changed. Can't talk anymore either. Inspection done. So, yeah, I, I, I'm out almost just this week alone, $3,500. <laughs> so, yeah. And the car was the cheaper part of it. So if that, if that tells you anything. Okay. I've been rambling for, again, 16 minutes now. Hopefully I've cut that down some. We're going to go ahead and get into the episode and go from there, see what happens on this. I do know that this season is only eight episodes rather than 10. And I think it's the same for season eight as well. All right. And I forgot I had the mic on the laptop on, so sorry about the double sound. I was, it was from finishing up the last thing I was recording. I had run out of battery on, on my earbuds. Here comes another wave of heat. <laughs> so this one's called Dragonstone. Oh, that's right. The Bay, Bay of Slaves is, or Slaver's Bay is now called the Bay of Dragons, I believe. Dragonstone, I'm a, mm, I don't know if that's necessarily going to involve the dragons, but I imagine we're going to come. I imagine we're going to come across something that either looks like a dragon, but it's made of stone, or a dragon did something to the stone, and that's why they call it dragon stone. But I don't know. Don't know what it could be. Frey, are we revisiting Ari killing him? Are we the seeing the Red Wedding all over again? I brought you all here. This is the finest arbor gold. Proper wine. If he Proper killed his... Arrows. If his sons were part of the meal... Stand together. What are we getting out of this? Or did he poison them all? Not you. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. 
the men who helped me slaughter the Starks at the Red Wedding. Since he didn't let her drink, I think he poisoned the wine. Slaughtered your guests after inviting them into your home. But you didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. No, no. That was your mistake. I was like, is he punishing them for killing the Starks? Now we get it. They didn't do a good enough job. So if the sheep are never safe if one wolf's alive, why did he kill all of his men? Wouldn't he need them to continue killing the wolves? Oh. Never mind. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for house prey. She is cutthroat, isn't she? So it wasn't a prelude. It was a encore. It was an encore. Couldn't remember the parts of the play. <laughs> oh, and we haven't seen any further of the White Walkers and the Ice King. Or Ice, what did they call him? Not an Ice King, I forget what they called him. Is this them? In slow-mo? It looks like water splashing up, but then it looks like smoke up at the top. Oh, even one of the giants turned into one. I didn't think about that. Hi, Bran. Oh, so he's gone to the wall. Looking for John, I bet. This is Brandon Stark, son of Ned Stark. You've seen the Night King? He's coming for us. Night King. For all of us. We can't defend the North. Ah, oh, Brienne's back with them. The is fight. The closest castle to Hardhome is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. <laughs> If they breach the Still wall, sassy. the first two castles in their path are last hearth and car hole. The crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no punishment for treason and no reward for loyalty. So they are kind of co-leading. And I will not take a family home away from a family it has belonged to for centuries. That is my decision. And my decision is... Okay. Fine. So he put but his oh, foot oh. down. So are they both the leaders of their respective homes? Oh, he's seeing Sansa's disappointment, and he's loving it. You're good at this, you know. At what? At ruling. Oh. You are. Even if you disagreed you with are. her. Why is everybody I'm wanting to sit on me? Stop trying. All right, I'll stop trying to protect you, and you stop trying to undermine me. I'm not trying to undermine you. So he has be blue Rob. eyes, I believe. You need to be smarter than Rob. Or no, I've been seeing Sansa's eyes. I loved them, I missed them, but they made stupid mistakes and they both lost their heads for it. And how should I be smarter? I think his I eyes are brown. So if his eyes are brown, Sansa's are blue, I think Ari's is kind of bluish. Bran's is brown, though. I was trying to think if it kind of fit the narrative. Although Ned's eyes are... Kind of a light brown uh, coloring. So, I don't know. I'm still thinking that I'm on the right path, though. Cersei of House Lannister, first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, Protector of the Seven Kingdoms. What does she want? Just to Into announce. King's Landing. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. That's true. Uh, so this is one of the opening shots in the beginning of the DVD there. What is this? A map. It's what we've been waiting for our whole lives. Maybe memorize every damn city, town, lake, forest, and mountain. Kind of strange that all the lands are almost a rectangle. You afraid of me? Should I be? Good question. The one who murdered our father and our firstborn son. Well, now he wouldn't have done all that if he hadn't tried to kill him, Cersei. Dragonstone. 
We have deep water okay, so Dragonstone ships. is an area. Stannis left the castle unoccupied, and that's where she was born. Been named king in the north, and that murdering whore Sansa stands beside him. Enemies everywhere were surrounded by traitors. You in command of the land. That's because you've pissed everybody them? off, Cersei. Our children are dead. We're the last of us. It didn't see for us then. We never yes, talked about Thomas. Jamie, she's delusional. The last Lannisters, the last ones you count. Jamie, go join the winning He's side. It almost looks like a uterus rather than an octopus. It's a nice ship otherwise. So is that Dragonstone? And they're good at killing. They're not good at anything. I know the Iron Ball. They're bitter, angry. What are they people. doing? All they know how to do is steal the things they can't build or grow themselves. You're on Greyjoy didn't come here for that. No, what did he come here for? Then? A queen. You like watching Cersei, don't you? The moment I was chosen Lord of the Iron Island, they turned on me. Murdering them would make me feel a lot better. And since it appears that all is our he the same man? family members are fighting for the same side, I thought we rightful minds. It looks like a different actor. Could murder them together. You're not a rightful monarch, though, are you? You're an usurper. The Great Joyce rebelled against the throne for the right to be monarchs. Of course, we all made it to the Iron Islands anyway. I was there. What are you doing? Well. I saw you. I wanted to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. He so wants to I be am. your wife. With a thousand ships, the surest way to a woman's heart is with a gift. A priceless gift. And I what's that? Return to King's Landing. What are you doing? We're at the Citadel. I agree. I guess the wall prepared him for this, huh? Going through the motions. Yeah, there's a reason. One reason why I didn't work in a hospital setting. Keeps looking at that big book, right? Somebody going to come up behind him? Oh, several big books. 147. Kilograms? I was wondering if you'd consider That's not right. my proposition. So, Maesters... Our coroners, With as well as educators, I've as well as the army of the dead. healers. Your grating obsession with the White Walkers is that you're telling the truth, and that you saw what you say you saw. So, you believe me? No. I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> you'll finish wearing that hat. When Robert's rebellion was raging, people thought the end was near. Robert the end Baratheon. Of the Targaryen dynasty. How will we survive? And every winter that ever came has ended. But they talked about the ice melting. And we did see evidence of that, even though winter was coming. Didn't we? Didn't we see evidence of the ice melting at one point? Is he going to give up and leave? Or he's going to steal the key? Oh, Samuel, you're going to get caught. No. Is that Gendry? I think it is. Or no, it's Podrick. No. <laughs> you're a lucky man. Not sure why his hair is a lot darker. It looks a lot darker than it did last season. I want you to be happy. No, you don't. I want you to be safe. What about happy? It's not going to be with you. Why aren't you happy? What do you want that you do not have? At the moment, peace and quiet. <laughs> Sassy. I'll assume it was something clever. <laughs> he wants something. He wants her. I know exactly what he wants. Who's singing? I think that's Ari, right? 
Oh, that's Ed Sharon. Is that his name? Ed something. I think it's Sharon. She still approaches timidly, especially when it's not one of her missions. Deceptive Baylor, the Dragon Pit. Then, when I finally make it, they wouldn't let me within a mile. The Red Cape. Deceptive Baylor. They're the guardsmen, aren't they? And the Dragon Pit. I just think about my dad out there on his boat all alone. I ought to be out there with him. Who's his dad? My wife's just had our first baby. <laughs> it's blackberry wine. I made it myself. It's really good. <laughs> Add a little more sugar. So why is a nice girl on our own heading to King's Landing? <laughs> Take another drink before answering that question. I'm going to kill the queen. They're like, shit, what do we do? <laughs> it's a good thing they didn't believe her. The Lord of Light whispered that in your ear. It's snowing, Horus. Davos. That's his name. So there's the hound. Are these men that he's collected on his journeys? No livestock. No smoke coming from the chimney. That's the farm where he killed the guy. And necessarily, right? And the eye patch guy looks familiar. We probably know him and I just don't remember. Maybe they got some ale hidden away. They don't. It is the farmer he killed. I hear a noise in the background. Like yelling. So why does the Lord of Light keep bringing you back? Oh. Than than you. That's why he's familiar. I just figured it out. Or beheaded. I'm a bit Trying delayed. They shot themselves to death in a field somewhere. Again. Come over here. I do like the fact that they're calling him I, Gregane I rather than the Hound. Keep asking and no one wants to tell me. We can't tell you. Only you have to see to it. You. Is he going to do something to him or is he being serious and he's actually going to see something Lord's instead? Lord's burning. Thousands of them. He's talking about the Night King. I can't tell who we're with. What the hell are you doing, Tegan? Oh, burying, burying the... the dead. There's two shovels. Is he going to help? Or maybe it's a sword, not a shovel. You know, some of the nice things about being in the country where there's not a lot of light is... Sometimes the moon is so bright, you can see your shadow on the ground. You deserve better. Both of you. So I think that church wore off on him a little bit. Who's lit the light in the tower? He's having problems staying awake. Plus, they're going to discover he has the books. The Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. It's in the shape of an arrowhead. A mountain of it. Did he get the note off before he's going to get caught? That's the question. Must be in the sick ward. Has she come yet? Hmm. The dragon queen. Who's asking? And do they keep prisoners at the Citadel? She's looking older. A lot more makeup on her now. So this place has just sat abandoned for this long, a long time. What's in the caves along the coast? Those are impressive. Near the tubas playing. So is that gate the only way in? Because we saw water on both sides. But that kind of makes the arrowhead shape too, doesn't it? So this is the throne room. Now, did the Lannisters get their people there before Danny got there? We're not seeing any evidence of it. But as we know, that doesn't mean anything. Oh! 
That's the room that Stannis was in. Gotcha. I'm caught up. Stannis, the red woman, they burnt the leeches. So is Gandry still around that area or did he go further away to no man's land? Shall we begin? I was going to, I was sitting there just thinking nobody has said one word since they entered. So off to a good start. We're kind of catching up, seeing where everybody's at at this point. In some ways, the story has progressed, and in some ways, it's progressed a little bit, <laughs> just depending on which story you're following. Everybody's making plans. I think I asked a lot of my questions during figuring out who people are, remembering who people are, all that kind of stuff. I think the only thing I haven't asked is uh, of everything that we were shown is Ari was shown, uh, was sitting with soldiers from King's Landing. I forget what they're called. The Red Guard? Something like that. I don't know. But at any rate, eyes are itching. At any rate, she um, was sitting with them. They asked her why she was heading to King's Landing. She said exactly why she's heading there. Um, of course, they all thought she was joking. So the question it becomes, what is she going to do at this point? Like, keep playing it off? Because she did come in seeming kind of timid. So why would they believe her? They all are on a mission. They're on a mission about protecting the area because they know some unknown murderer has gone in and murdered all the Freys. So, except for the women Frey. So, I don't think they'll be able to actually leave and go with her. But many of them talked as if they didn't want to be there anyhow. So, you know, what are, what are they going to do? And I didn't realize Ed Sharon was going to cameo. I don't know if it's a cameo or if he actually had a small bit in the in the entire series. I don't know if we'll see him any further past once Ari leaves. And I forget what the bard, couldn't remember what the bards were called. And every time I think of bard, I think of uh, Joxer the Mighty riding through the, can't remember all the words. He's Joxer. Joxer the Mighty. <laughs> and for those of you that are old school and know exactly what I'm talking about, <laughs> I think they're called bards. But bards also did poems and rec recited, recited poems, rec recited plays, that sort of thing. So I, I don't know if necessarily the, the singer is also a bard or if they've got a different name. But at any rate, I think that's the only question I had aside from what I already said. So, all right, on to the second episode. Thank you all for joining me on this one. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. You going to get down and stretch? You've forgotten what you're going to do?